Selamat sejahtera semua. I am Madam Lau Yu Kim, a mathematics tea teacher in Kistak. I would like to give some information about the subject mathematics tea in Kistak. For your information, mathematics tea is a compulsory subject for science students. In Kistak, there are three mathematics tea teachers. They are Madam Lau Yu Kim, Madam Tan Hui Ping, and Mr. Ahmad Hisham bin Khairuddin. The aims of mathematics tea. Mathematics tea is designed to provide for a pre-university course that enables the candidates to develop the understanding of mathematical concepts, mathematical thinking, and the applications of mathematics related to science and technology. The scheme of assessment. There are three terms of study. First term, second term, and third term. The assessment are paper 1, paper 2, paper 3, and paper 4. Paper 1, paper 2, and paper 3 are the written tests. Paper 4 is the coursework. The written test divided into section A and section B. For section A, you must answer all the six questions. For section B, only answer one out of two questions. Total marks of the each test is 60 marks. And the duration of the test is one and a half hours. Paper 4 is the coursework. Each term has a coursework to do. Total marks of the coursework is 180 marks for three coursework. Next, I would like to introduce the syllabus of mathematics T. The syllabus of the first terms is about the algebra and geometry. There are six topics in first term. Topic 1 is functions. In this topic, you have to learn functions, polynomial and rational functions, exponential and logarithm functions, and also trigonometry functions. Topic 2 is sequences and series. In this topic, you have to learn sequences, series, and also binomial expansions. Topic 3 is matrices. In this topic, you have to learn matrices and also system of linear equations. Topic 4 is the complex number. In this topic, you have to learn complex number in polar form and powers and roots of complex numbers. Topic 5 is the analytic geometry. In this topic, you have to learn circles, ellipse, parabola, and hyperbola. And topic 6 is the vectors. In this topic, you have to learn some vector in two and three dimensions and also vectors geometry. Next is the second term. Second term is about the calculus. There are also got six topics that you have to learn in second term. Topic 7 to topic 12. Topic 7 is the limits and continuity. Topic 8 is the differentiation. In this topic, 
you learn derivative, implicit differentiations, applications of the differentiations, and solving the problems of the differentiation equations. Topic 9 is the integration. In this topic, you have to learn indefinite integrals, techniques of the integrations, and the definite integrals, and also solving the problem about the integrations. Topic 10 is the differential equation. In this topic, you have to learn the first order differential equation with separable variables. And the first order linear differential equations, transformation of differential equations, and also the applications of differential equations. Topic 11 is the Macquarie series. In this topic, you have to learn exponential series, logarithm series, trigonometry series, and also the series expansion. And the topic 12 is the numerical methods. In this topic, you have to learn numerical solutions of equations, Newton reaction methods, numerical integrations, and also tropism rule. Next is the third term. In third term, we learn statistics. There are also six topics in third term. Topic 13 to topic 18. Topic 13 is the data descriptions. In these topics, you have to learn the stem and leaf diagrams, box plots, histograms, cumulative frequency curve, mean, mod, median, interquartile range, and standard deviations of data and also the Pearson coefficients. Topic 14 is the probability. In this topic, you have to learn the probability of an event, the conditional probability, rule of the total probability, and Topic 15 is the probability distributions. In this topic, you have to learn the discrete random variables, continuous random variables, binomial distributions, Poisson distributions, and the normal distributions. Topic 16 is the sampling and estimations. Topic 17 is the hypothesis testing. In this topic, you have to learn the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis and also have to carry out the hypothesis test. And the last topic is the topic 18, chi-square test. In this topic, you have to learn the chi-square distributions, the chi-square statistics, and carry out the chi-square test. As a conclusion, so there are 18 topics uh, that you have to learn in three terms in your STPM. That's all for the information about the subject mathematic T. Thank you for your kind attentions and good luck to you. Goodbye.